Lisa, my first value this week is a guy who went nuts on Monday night, and that's Pat Fryermuth. He's been awesome of late. He's been a top 10 tight end in each of his last three games over this stretch. He's averaging a target share per game over 20%. And over his last two games, he's second in the entire NFL in targets from within his opponent's 10-yard line. So he's seeing volume within his offense, and that volume is also coming close to the end zone. He's a great value at $5,100. There's also Dearness Johnson. The Cleveland backfield could be out this week because of COVID, leaving Dearness Johnson with a big workload. And the nice part is, is that we've seen Johnson with that backfield to himself back in week seven against Denver that week. He had 79% of the team's running back rushes. He had a 6% target share. He had a top five fantasy football performance. So if everything aligns and he's able to be starter this weekend, he's an absolute steal at $5,400. And then finally, there's James Conner. Chase Edmonds is out for multiple weeks with a high ankle sprain. That makes Conner a potential bell cow in this Cardinals backfield. Last week, Conner saw 68% of the team's running back rushes, and he had a 19% target share. We should expect that target share to drop a little bit. And I also expect Eno Benjamin, their other running back, to be involved in sort of a Chase Edmonds light kind of role. But Conner's getting a bump in work, and he's already seeing goal line work in that offense. He's a great, great value at $7,000.